All right, well, we are your Gulf Coast Weather Authority. And meteorologist Ramisha Shade joining us to tell us about this weather. What can we expect now after we've already dealt with a lot? Well, are you happy it's summer, first of all? Yes. yes. <laughs> happy first day of summer. That's right. We get Is to it officially summer, summer now? Yes, 3.50 oh, cool. p.m. It's been nice. summer for a little bit. Wow. <laughs> Tomorrow, first full day of summer. And on the first day of summer, of course, we had our first tropical storm of the season make landfall. We've gotten rid of it, but guess what? We could have another one on its heels. So more on that to come, but let's talk about some of the impacts from Tropical Storm Alberto, or at least what was Tropical Storm Alberto. It has now fallen apart, but it did produce some wind over 50 miles per hour yesterday around the Galveston Causeway. Pearland, 41 mile per hour gusts for you and close to five inches of rain in Sargent, four inches for you in Brazoria. If you're in Sugarland, you picked up over two inches from the impacts that were being felt from Tropical Storm Alberto yesterday. Things have improved drastically for tonight. We do still have a few heavy downpours and we've gotten rid of that coastal flood warning, but in its place, we still have a coastal flood advisory because we could still have some minor flooding from that tidal flooding right along the coast. So watch out for some of those streets to still be inundated with some water late tonight and tomorrow morning. As far as the rain falling from the sky, we still got a few heavy downpours up around on Alaska Riverside, just to the east of Huntsville, stretching down into New Waverly. And let's jump down to the coast south of Palacios. We have a few more batches of heavy rain. Nothing much in Houston right now, so we are getting a break from those downpours. We do still have some issues, though, out at our area beaches, Galveston Beach, Jamaica Beach, still under that risk for high rip current risk, so we are going to be dealing with that threat as we go for the next, let's say 12 to 24 hours. It is going to be on the choppy side out there, so certainly watch out for that. As far as Tropical Storm Alberto, it is history. Of course, it made landfall this morning around Tampico, Mexico, quickly fell apart, so we've gotten rid of the A name, but now we're thinking we could have Beryl and or Chris in the next week or so because we've got two potential areas of development development that we're monitoring one right off of the southeastern U.S. coast that could get pretty close to Jacksonville, Florida over the next few days. 50% shot that that could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm. We're also monitoring this area in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Very similar area where Alberto developed. So once again, we could have another tropical system brewing in the Gulf late this weekend or early next week. So that's why our rain chances are not going to be zero. We will have very limited rain for Saturday. That's going to be your best chance to get out and enjoy some park time, some pool time. But notice the 30 to 40% shot for showers and storms returning as we go into next week. That's because we could get some of that tropical moisture streaming in from whatever develops in the Gulf. I don't think it's going to be a direct hit for us by any means, but certainly keep checking back. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be a lot about the heat. Whether where you live across Harris County, temps soaring to the 90s, definitely feeling like the first full day of summer tomorrow, and we will have that 40% chance for downpours, but look at Saturday almost completely dry, but those rain chances are creeping back in for much of next week. We are watching the Gulf. Hopefully nothing develops, but we could get some enhanced rain chances if we do get more development. Certainly feeling like summer out there. Oh, it is. <laughs> Thanks, Ramisha. We'll be right back.